I know you just won your match, so I'm not sure if you've heard the latest on Biggie and Paragon. What's going on? Well, after Big E beat Paragon, they got into a fight backstage, and he was injured. He can't compete tonight, or anytime soon. Okay, so just make me king. That's not an option. I do have another plan, though, but you're not gonna like it. Are you giving the spot to Paragon? No, that wouldn't be fair. I have someone else in mind, someone who's a future Hall of Famer but has never been king of the ring. The Viper. Randy Orton. What? I've been competing in this tournament since the beginning, and already wrestled tonight, and Orton gets to just step in fresh and face me? And you want to talk about fair? Hey, I said you weren't going to like it, but my job is to make sure this tournament ends in the ring. If I were you, I'd go get all the rest you can. in one night. Ultimately, he couldn't overcome that, but still an impressive performance. Orton's done just about everything in his illustrious WWE career, and now he can check off this achievement too. All hail King Orton. Certainly never predictable here in WWE. Unfortunately for Rey Mysterio, that means he's out of the money in the bank match. But that also means four lucky superstars now have an opportunity to take Rey's place. I personally have my eye on a superstar who's fresh off a disappointing loss in a brutal qualifier against Baron Corbin. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I agree with you, Saxton. Logan's punching bag took a beating, but also had a lot of chances to win. So I expect him to be extra hungry tonight. It's stressful always being on high alert. Never know who's going to come after me and my title. But this really helps. Oh, yeah, that's it. Keep going, right there. Damn, I guess the reviews were right. You do have strong hands. Okay, easy now. Time to flip over onto your back now. Hey, what the hell? Come on, ref. Our truth can two. never get a moment to relax. Not as long as he has the 24-7 championship. 24-7 rules be... Ouch! Oh, what impact! Going for a pin for the championship. One, two, three. And the champ stands tall once again. And there you see 24-7 champion R-Truth watching Carmella's match. Guess he's seen enough. Hold up. Here we go. And false count anywhere certainly adds an element of unpredictability to this match. The name says it all. The action of this match could spill out to anywhere in this arena. Loads with the boot.
Here we go as Raw's Chicken Man will attempt to free himself of his mask with a win against the superstar who forced it on him in the first place. It's been a humiliating couple of weeks for Humberto Carrillo's opponent, but tonight he'll try to claw some of his pride back. Or at least his peripheral vision. It's gotta be tough to see in that thing. It's so crazy. You drew number two in the Royal Rumble and that you'll be starting out with Murphy of all people. I mean, what are the odds? I know you're behind this. You're terrified I'm gonna win the Rumble and beat you for your championship. Clearly, you'll do anything you can to stop that from happening. I can't confirm or deny your allegations, but what I can say is that maybe when you had the opportunity to help us with a favor, you should have delivered it. And maybe if you had, you wouldn't be in this position right now. Or maybe the world's just a crazy place full of coincidence and dumb luck. We'll never know. Yeah, well, there is one thing I know. I'm going to overcome whatever obstacles you put in my way until you have nothing left to throw at me and nowhere to run. Then, I'm going to take your WWE title, and no amount of dumb luck or coincidence can save you from that. The Royal Rumble is in the books, and with a Blockbuster Universal Championship match already set, that leaves WWE Champion Seth Rollins looking for a WrestleMania dance partner. And he's about to get one right here on Raw in a fatal four-way elimination match featuring a superstar who's had the Monday Night Messiah's attention since well before the Rumble. Are you referring to the superstar who failed to get the job done at the Royal Rumble? I'm sure Seth and his disciples are shaking in their Sunday best boots. Oh, Kendo stick. 